fuck is going dead, everybody? It's your boy, the Sauce Man X. Check it back at your niggas with another goddamn video today. So anyways, man, I'm back with another political video with this bitch. And I'm gonna be honest, okay? I have not uploaded that many political videos within the past few weeks, okay? That's another disclaimer. Before I get into the a actual video, I have not uploaded that many political videos within the past, you know, in the past few weeks, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to be much more consistent when it comes to my uploads because I, ever since school started, which I believe school started like on August 13th or some shit like that, ever since school started, you know, everything's been fucking ridiculous, okay? I haven't had the time to upload fucking political videos and shit like that, but I'm going to try from now on, okay? From now on, I'm going to try to upload political videos every day, every day, and ev every day, if not every sink. Every day, if not every other day, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to upload every day or every other day, you know, of the, of the, not of the week, but every single day or every other day, you know, when it comes to political videos, because I've been caught lacking. I think I only uploaded like five or six or seven political videos within the past few weeks, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm actually still surprised at this shit, okay? I'm actually still surprised at this shit because I only uploaded like six political videos in the past month, and I was still able to gain like fuck. 50 something subscribers, okay? Literally, we only uploaded like three or four videos in the past few weeks, and I was still able to gain 20 something subscribers. I had like 450 subscribers about three weeks ago. Now it just jumped up to 471 after just a few videos and not really being in the comment section as much as I used to or as much as I would want to be, you know what I'm saying? So it is honestly crazy, okay? I'm actually surprised that I'm actually getting these massive amounts of subscribers. So I feel like the more that I upload, the more consistent that I upload, I will make more subscribers and I'll probably get like 500. It'll just burst up to 600 anytime soon. And hopefully I'll get 1,000 subscribers. And when 1,000 subscribers hits, that's when the massive amounts of fucking political videos, massive amounts of videos in general are going to come in. And I have like lots of Shit playing, you just gotta wait for this shit until it happens. So, anyways, man, it's your boy the Sauce Man X. I'm back with another video, and I got like a huge ass fucking list of all the political videos that I have planned. So, go ahead and stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for comments and to like to me when it comes to politics or philosophy or whatever the hell I plan on doing, whatever video I plan on uploading within the next few months. Pretty much all the way till I don't even know when, probably for the rest of the year. You never fucking know. But, anyways, man, we got another political video in this bitch, okay? We got a political video in this bitch, and I know this is gonna be a very controversial video. I know that this is gonna be a very controversial video. Just based off the title, because I know there's a lot of mindless people out there who only judge by what they see on the title and they use that to determine the entire video, you know what I'm saying? Dislike the video before even watching, okay? It literally happens all the time on my channel, so I, this is going to be a very controversial video, so don't be surprised if this video gets a lot of dislikes, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm actually expecting it. Not only just people from the left, but I actually expect some dislikes from people from the right, because a lot of people are probably not going to agree with me on this, you know what I'm saying? But again, I have my own objective opinion. I don't follow a rhetoric, so that's probably the reason why I get lots of dislikes on this video, you know what I'm saying? If I do get that many dislikes on this video, I don't know, but we will see. But we already see it by the title, okay? You already see it by the title. We got to talk about... This motherfucker Robert Mueller, okay? We gotta talk about this nigga Robert Mueller, which I have been waiting to talk about this nigga for the longest time. I do not even know what to say about that. I mean, this dude, we already know, ever since Trump won the election, this dude has been trying his best to, you know, make it seem like Donald Trump has fucking, you know, lost the election or, you know, there's election fraud or whatever, trying to find collusion with the Russians or whatever. It's honestly ridiculous. And it's still literally going nowhere. And of course, the media is trying their best. They're trying their best to pigeonhole on this motherfucker, to make it seem, to just to try to stop Trump, try to get this motherfucker impeached, and it's honestly not working, but you already see it by the title, I'm not, I'm not just gonna talk about Robert Mueller in this video, but we gotta talk about this shit, okay, here's my fucking theory, okay, here's my theory, here's my thing, it does not matter if Donald Trump win, wait, it does not matter if Donald Trump cheated to win the election or not, okay, it literally does not matter if Donald Trump cheated to win the election or not, because, even me, and this is the part where I think people from the right, you know, may disagree with me. Even me, my nigga, I think that Donald Trump didn't authentically win the election. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I personally think that Donald Trump could have potentially cheated or somehow, you know, found a way to do something, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, you know, rig the election votes. I am not even surprised. If that actually happens, of course, it's still a conspiracy theory at this point. But if this actually becomes reality, I would not be surprised if it turns out that Donald Trump cheated in this election. But you know what? If Trump, if it turns out that Donald Trump actually cheated to win the election, I would not give a fuck. Okay, I honestly would not give a fuck. And the main point, okay, the main point of this fucking video, the main point of the reason for why I wouldn't give a fuck is because, first off, I do not think that votes count, okay? That's number one. First off, votes do not even count, and considering the fact that Hillary Clinton, okay? Here's the thing. Donald Trump had to cheat. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump had to cheat if he wanted to win this election in 2016. He had to cheat if he wanted to win this fucking election. And first off, Hillary Clinton, 
Okay, and I know that a lot of people are gonna make a big deal about it, like, oh, you know, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Sauce Man, you know, you're just a dumbass, you know what I'm saying, you don't know what you're talking about, you know, Donald Trump, if he cheated in the election, that would have been a huge ass fucking deal. No, the fuck it wasn't. No, the fuck he wouldn't. You know why? Simply because Hillary Clinton is the same bitch that cheated against Bernie Sanders, and it is obviously a fact. So the main reason of this video, the main reason for why I wouldn't care if Donald Trump cheated in the election is mainly because if Donald Trump actually put up a full and fair and square election without cheating or without any type of collusion, then Donald Trump would have been cheated by his fucking opponent. He would have been cheated by the entire political establishment. He would have literally been cheated by everyone else if he actually didn't do this shit. Because... Donald Trump, it's like in a way that Donald Trump had to cheat in order to win. You know what I'm saying? Because we already know Hillary Clinton, she's the one who cheated against Bernie Sanders. And I think that Bernie Sanders, in my opinion, even though I disagree with a lot of his shit, okay, he's a fucking socialist. You know, I disagree with pretty much everything he says. You know, free college, socialism is not going to work. You know, I, you know, socialism is obviously not going to work. Okay? Capitalism is the way to go. Okay, socialism is not going to work. Okay, we're not going to pay for your fucking college. Okay? We're not going to raise the minimum wage. I completely disagree. But Bernie Sanders was a way better presidential candidate than Hillary Clinton. And Bernie Sanders was the same motherfucker selling out stadiums. Not to the same extent that Trump does, because Trump, you know, in the 2016 election, he was, like, doing it every fucking day, going on a campaign trail, you know, selling out rallies, which he still does, you know what I'm saying? But I think that Bernie Sanders, could, in fact, that he's old and shit like that, I don't think he had the connections and the ability in order to sway the election results. So Hillary Clinton and the Democratic establishment put a fucking restraint on him. They were obviously in favor of Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders got cheated. There's no way in fuck. Nobody goes to Hillary Clinton rallies. I can understand that people, you know, a lot of people don't like Trump, so they vote for Hillary. But how the fuck do people not like Bernie so much that they voted for Hillary? Because Hillary, she ain't got no support. Nobody gave a fuck about her. Nobody went to her rallies. It was just Bernie Sanders. They always went to his rallies. But somehow Hillary Clinton still won. You know what I'm saying? Somehow Hillary Clinton still won. So that's the thing. If Trump did not win, if there was an election that was fair and square, and this is the main point, if there was an election that was completely fair and square and there was no collusion and no cheating at all, Trump would have won. And if Trump wants to, you know, if, if Trump wanted to do it that way, then Trump would have lost because of the rigged political establishment. Hillary Clinton cheated against Bernie Sanders. And I'm pretty sure that she tried to cheat. Okay, you got the, the whole entire thing was against Trump. The whole entire election was against Donald Trump. What else was I going to say? The whole entire election was against Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton was the one cheating, okay? With the fucking debate questions. With the, you know, the email scandal and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? The media. The media. Literally. They want to say that, oh, you know, the fucking, you know, Mueller and all these motherfuckers. Like, oh, well, you know, they went on Facebook and influenced the election. It's like, bitch, didn't the fucking media fully influence the election? Like, everything in terms of brainwashing people. In terms of all the fucking illegal immigrants voting. That's another thing. Illegal immigrants in California. All over the place. Okay, there's been like 3 million illegal immigrants that are voting. You know what I'm saying? All of this fucking shit. Hillary Clinton straight up cheating. Being favored by the Democratic Party. Straight up cheating against Hillary Clinton. And if you're actually Trump running for president, how would you not want... How would you let that shit slide? Honestly. How would you let that shit slide and want to play a fair election? You cannot win if you don't cheat anymore. At least when it comes to this election... You couldn't win if you didn't cheat. That's how Bernie lost. So everything was in the favor of anything that was against Trump. He was the fucking, you know, De Hillary Clinton, the Democratic Party, all the mainstream media, all the fucking fake news, which of course there's fake news on the right wing, you know what I'm saying? Of course all the people on Facebook, they were fake news. But the media is the main one who are the fake news. But since they're the billion dollar corporations, oh, they can't go wrong. They can promote any propaganda they want. They can brainwash as any fucking, as many people that they want. And it won't be considered misinformation. And it won't be considered misleading. So in terms of brainwashing people, it was in Hillary's favor. In terms of the establishment, it was in Hillary's favor. In terms of actually cheating votes, illegal, oh, illegal immigrant illegal votes it was against donald trump it was all in the democrats favor and hillary already been proven to cheat against bernie sanders so i do not blame donald trump at all if it actually turns out that this dude actually cheated during the election i wouldn't blame him because you can't win an election anymore if you don't cheat okay and i think that hillary did i think this votes were swayed you know what I'm saying? But all I got to say is that everything was against Trump's favor, even though democracy, if it was democracy, Trump still would have won. You know what I'm saying? But if Trump didn't cheat, he would have lost. So if it was actually a fair and square election, he should have won anyway. So just do whatever you can to make sure that the democracy is actually aligns with itself the way it's supposed to be, even if it means that you have to cheat against the Russians. So I think that Donald Trump, that's just my opinion. You can talk shit about it all you want. But in my personal opinion, 
Donald Trump had every right to cheat in this election. Now, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but I do not give a fuck as of all the pro propaganda, it's like the brainwashing propaganda about democracy and everything like that. But if it was actually, if there was actually a democracy, if your vote actually counted to the same way that you think that it counts, then Trump would have obviously won by a landslide. I don't know how Hillary won the popular vote. I mean, I can understand because most of the nation is against Trump, but at the end of the day, electoral college is obviously what saved Donald Trump. If there wasn't an electoral college, I would have easily opened the door for Hillary to cheat and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that and basically you know Donald Trump this motherfucker okay wins the electoral colleges which is a fucking lifesaver okay and another people like oh you know Hillary should have won because of the popular vote and everything like that and all the bullshit that you're coming up with at the end of the fucking day electoral college is actually the fairest way to have to have an election it is the fairest way to have an election simply because imagine Rhode Island imagine all the fucking small states that have little to no people to it in it Compared to all the other big states like Texas or California, they have no fucking they then if it was based on popular vote, people from Rhode Island, Rhode Island wouldn't have any type of a chance. So it's better to balance all the states out by electoral college and just base it by one state, whatever has a popular vote in that specific state. That's a much more better way to break it down. You know what I'm saying? So regardless, Trump should have won the election. So if he cheated, I wouldn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But that's like, I wouldn't give a fuck. So, I do not give a fuck. But at the end of the day, we gotta talk about this nigga Mo Robert Mueller before I end this goddamn video. Robert Mueller, this motherfucker, first off, the mainstream media is normalizing conspiracy theories. That's all I gotta say. Everybody wants to get on InfoWars, which InfoWars, like, they just randomly just got shadow banned again, okay? I thought they weren't gonna get deleted off of Twitter because the guy who runs Twitter was like, oh, you know, he didn't violate any of the guys, but now apparently Alex Jones did some shit with Marco Rubio and tried to get up in his face or whatever. I don't really fucking know. I don't really give a damn, but he got deleted, okay? After that shit happened, I guess some fucking corporation, deep state or some shit, decided to delete Alex Jones' Twitter account. So he's basically gone. This dude is basically gone, and this guy's done. He's literally off the entire internet. They literally banned him off the app store. How is that not considered cheating? How is that not considered misinformation spread? It's fucking hypocritical as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Robert Mueller, investigation. You want to talk about, you know, Alex Jones deserved to be deleted off of fucking YouTube because of all of his conspiracy theories and all that shit. But at the same fucking time, you're normalizing conspiracy theories about Russia meddling in the election. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that it actually is proven to some extent. Or I think that, you know, in my personal opinion, that they did have something to do with the Russians. But so did Hillary Clinton. Why, why do they want to just delete all the fuck? Okay, Hillary Clinton deletes all these emails. The mainstream media brushes off any type of illegal activity from Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, technically, because I think he's a rapist. You know, they completely ignore and just brush all that shit away. And then they make up shit about Trump. And then they want to say that he did all these illegal things. It's literally fucking hypocritical. So apparently, if they actually wanted to do an investigation, if the establishment wanted to do an investigation on Hillary Clinton, she would have already been in jail. She would have already been fucking locked up. Bill Clinton would have been locked up. She would have been exposed for all the shady shit she'd done. And they would have been making up a bunch of false rhetorics about her or true rhetorics about her. But the entire thing is shifted on to Trump. So I think that uh, everything that Trump did that was wrong, Hillary Clinton has done worse. Times 10. You know what I'm saying? So it is ridiculous. So I think that there's no reason, there's no way in fuck that... Trump should be, you know, like, oh, he's telling, you know, he deserves to go to jail or something like that, but they don't want to do anything with Hillary Clinton. And, and again, the main point is that the mainstream media is normalizing conspiracy theories. All they're doing, there's a reason for why CNN is literally getting no fucking views, n less views than Nickelodeon, okay? And nobody watches their fucking shit because they keep on talking about the same thing, keep on repeating the same rhetoric, but they're normalizing a conspiracy theory because of the whole Russia meddling in the election. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happened, but at the end of the day, there's absolutely no evidence of it. There's no evidence. All they're doing is arresting people that have ties with Trump over just collusion purposes. And collusion technically is not even a fucking crime. Collusion is not even a crime. Let alone if you actually, you know, contact another country and use them as a smear campaign against Hillary Clinton. That's not illegal. There's nothing wrong with that. Because literally the establishment went with the media and the media, did, you, you know, banded together to, you know, collude and go against Donald Trump. So by that logic... It's just as bad. So what Trump, anything that Trump or the people that are associated with Trump doing is doing not, is doing something that's no worse than what the media is doing right now. So by the logic, we should just ban the whole media? By the logic, we need to shut down every mainstream media account and put them all in jail? CNN blackmailed the fucking teenager back in 2017. Nobody wants to talk about that shit. 
Nobody wants to talk about that shit, but let alone at the end of the day, there's absolutely no proof of collusion. There's no proof of collusion. There's no proof. I mean, technically there is proof of collusion, but there's no proof of election meddling. If there's no election meddling, then there's nothing that's illegal. So Trump so far has not been proven to do anything illegal, which is why he hasn't been indicted. So it's literally a conspiracy theory to say that Trump does not deserve to be president of the United fucking States. It is a conspiracy theory. And Mueller has literally done absolutely nothing in the past year and a half since Trump was inaugurated. Has done absolutely nothing. Found absolutely no evidence of illegal activity from President Donald Trump. So where is the evidence? What are they going crazy about? They're literally going crazy about nothing. And they're literally, anything that they want to say that Trump did, the media has done 20 times worse. Okay, they've done 20 times worse. It is honestly fucking ridiculous. So anyways, man, I got to end this fucking video. It's under I have to keep it under 60 minutes. So anyways, man, tell me to think in the comment section of this shit. Just have to get some shit off my goddamn chest. It is your boy, the Sauce Man X. I'm checking the fucking out of here. Peace.